Okay, so what you're going to have to do here is let's just pre-compose. Make sure you select move all attributes into the new composition. Now, from here, what we're going to have to do here is just to go to effects and presets and just drag this onto this uh, composition. And then from here, make sure you select render from uh, render here. We're going to have to select custom pattern, custom, custom shader map. Here, make sure you select your logo and then uh, from here, also here, I could have moved this anchor point, hold command and double click. So is here, should be here. I think it's going to help. Anyways, now from here, now we're going to have to make sure the depth is zero. Now, when you do the animation the rotation is gonna we're gonna have problems if we don't set this to zero i tried believe me it's gonna look very bad if you don't change this to zero from here we're gonna have to go to what we're gonna have to do well we're gonna have to go to here to texture actually we're gonna do that later on first let's add some depth here in shape let's increase the depth and we're not gonna see anything right now just because we have to rotate so let's actually rotate right now now, when we go here to to shape extrusion depth, we're going to increase. Look what we have here. But we do have some problem. Well, we should have here feel this part, right? Because there's no, it's kind of empty. It looks quite bad. So to fix this here in slide mode, sorry, not in slide mode, here in front slide, yeah, slide layer, we have back mode and here we should select the color. Now we do have a color, but we don't need this color. I'll actually pick this one here. This select this color and then I'll click on here and I'm going to go with this color like actually I don't like this one. We'll go with this one, but it still doesn't look good at all, actually, because what I've tested here with lighting and then if I choose the point source and then I'm going to select, I'm going to move this one here and I'm going to increase the ambient light. And I'm going to give the light depth. I need this part here. Okay, so you see this light here. Now it's going to look better. And of course, about for the extrusion depth, you can increase this to even more if you want to. But if you do that too much, it's going to look pretty bad. Anyways, and now let's just add a keyframe here. Set this to zero add a keyframe and then if I rotate about 356 I think press U here to see the keyframes and then here we have the keyframes okay we can see how is this rotating okay 